Northern Ireland, a land of natural beauty, historical past, and trouble. But now is the time for them to rise up and become a footballing superpower. This is Rise of a Nation with Northern Ireland. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Rise of a Nation. Here in Northern Ireland with Crusaders FC on Football Manager for 2017. Today we have the third game of the Champions League group stage. And well, since we last met, it's been a pretty good result. Um, undefeated in the league, still in the, both League and Challenge Cup. This game against the Napoli, they were a little bit lucky. And take away that penalty in the goal in the 92nd minute, and it's one all. Um, I think from memory, this was a fairly tight game. Yeah. One could say, based on the stats, that we probably should have won. Um, you can see that, well... It was almost a game I was very happy with the way we played. I think with a little bit of luck we could have won that game. Um, we didn't play the, the best to a, the best of our ability, to the best of our ability, but neither did they. So, all in all, I think we've actually got an opportunity here. Um, it's going to be difficult still, but this is a tight group. If we can get a win here today against Leverkusen, and maybe get a draw away from home, that'll set us up with five points with two games remaining, and just because it's so tight, you can see that None of, the te none of the teams have won both games. In fact, oh, just look at the goal difference. That's the main thing to understand. That because this group's so tight, if we can get a few good wins, um, that Napoli return leg is going to be very, very crucial. Um, because at the moment, well, it's only two games in, but. It's so tight. So, um, also, we I've improved the coaching ever so slightly. We're slowly getting to the point where we've got four stars across the board. Um, just need to try and get some more coaches in, uh, get one more fitness coach, and more and more defending. Actually, no, go with the um, just the tactics and the ball control. That's it for the time being. So hopefully by the end of the year we can get that a couple more coaches just to just to um, specialise the coaching squad. Um, we've also increased our youth recruitment. So now it's established youth recruitment. Which from memory, just checking here in my book. Guys, um, <laughs> Can't it. Uh, there we go. Establish youth for a minute is the third. Tier behind well established and extensive um, exceptional ju youth uh, junior coaching, I uh, believe, is the highest. Yeah, so as once we improve the youth recruitment and our training in youth facilities, we could be a five star across the board. 
which would be absolutely amazing. Um, so we'll get into this game. Oh, I should start trying that tactic. Um, let's set on our league. Europe. Okay. Um, I'll start playing this tactic in my offline save. And well, it has been working fantastically at Boston United. First season in the Premier League, we managed to beat Manchester City away from home. So I'll start developing this tactic. It does have a show striker, so I'm not sure whether McGonagall's going to be able to carry that role. Um, let's turn that on. Okay, and events boards. the ball winner, I think. Um, get rid of Rello. He doesn't fit that system. Uh, Stephen Davis and play him as a box block with Martin. I think Martin's now back from injury, which is awesome news for the club. Uh, Halliday and Dan Moore as a ball uh, wing back on attack. Just create that depth, uh, sorry, that width, and then driving up these wings. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Just in my own way. Okay, let's get into it. Uh, probably only a few players that require um, uh, score numbers, such as McManus. Um, Sproul is out still with an injury. It's going to be out for a while. It's for, well, only three to eight days now. Alright, let's get started. Oh, let's, first of all, let's just see if we can get McCartney. Extend his loan out. Ah, oh, damn. Alright, so this could be the last season unless they recall him in January. Uh, Michael Ross is developing. Still got a bit of development to happen. And I think he's a decent keeper. Um, should extend his contract in progress to no uh, gain. Just try and overpay, but keep him happy. There we go. Uh, finances are perfectly fine. <coughs> Sorry guys, just the only way to get rid of those, some of the players that are just nowhere near the first team. I've got to start, start cutting down the squad. Um, cutting down the numbers so that we can stop giving so many score numbers away. To make them happy, and let's get into it. Ooh, one of my favourites for this game. Oh, oops, my mistake. I wasn't actually supposed to play with that tactic. <laughs> uh, I was just going to start training it. We've got, still got Jarvis and Phil Anderson. Oh, well. we'll see what the tactic can do when it has not been trained.
Let's get cracking. Uh, this team is also better than my Boston side. Uh, so I assume that the stat is going to work better. Davis, Taylor, over top to Smith, Smith to Davis, McGonagall, oh, should have scored, he should have scored that, uh, clean through and goal, Martin, McGonagall, Davis, oh, blocked, Taylor, to speak, uh, Luke Smith was offside, here we go, here we go, here we go. Work it around, work it around. Don't rush it. Smith. Oh, saved. Which one? Gets the ball back. Forward to Murray. Davis. Good ball there. More on the overlap. Uh, good tackle by Henricks. Oh, that's a poor tackle. Bit of control this game. <coughs> Smith over the top. Smith. Oh my god. So many clear cut chances. There we go, Smithy. Smithy. 11th goal of the season, and Crusaders go 1 0 up. It seems like this tactic works fantastically. We are absolutely destroying Lady Hughes. We just need to put them on the score sheet now. Speak. This is from a um, set piece as well, so. I think we are still training set pieces. Yeah, we need much training. Um, to be honest, I think we should go into standard. Um, we can't really play cow when we've got the ball. Uh, standard and just encourage them. Get that ball. Good work, more. D more over the top to Smith. Luke Smith. <sighs> he had two plays in the middle of the pitch here. Martin. Over top to Smith. Can he beat his man? He can. Can he look for the cross? What was that? It's like he forgot where he was. Oh shit, there's a byline. Murray. Oh. <laughs> come on, guys. Come on. Oh. Murray. Yes. Tony Murray scores, and Crusaders are now 2 0 up. Um, yeah, so I just took it off, onto, put it onto standard, because you can't really play counter-attacking football when you've got more of the ball. Um, it doesn't really change things much. Uh, we've got a lot more possession. You're still playing effectively counter-attacking football. Just move the ball quickly. McGonagall. Murray. That's good. And these two. Murray and Smith are working so well together. You can see there, Smith just running a little bit wider to drag one of the centre defenders out to give Murray more space to run into and work with the overlap. And this is without training the tactic. <laughs> oh, we're absolutely destroying them. If we had strikers that could score, we'd be 5 or 6 nil up now. Take your opportunities, boys.
Come on. I blab. Man. I thought it was offside, but <laughs> it's counted. 3 0. 3 0 against the side that was at the top of the group. Absolute destruction here. I don't know. He was played on by the guy who th initially actually thought he was offside, which is interesting. Maybe instead of throwing your hands in the air, you actually mark one of my strikers. Um, I'm just going to tell them I'm calm, keep focused. Um, previous FMs, that has absolutely destroyed the morale. But thankfully, uh, the guys at SI have fixed that error. More, oh, it's a poor pass, but I think Moore could have done a little bit better there. I seem to be a little bit nervous here. Some of the touches are just not quite there. More back to Martin Smith. But gotta go. Yes! <laughs> 4 0. 4 0. Oh. I was not expecting this. I knew the tactic worked well, but I did not expect it first time against a Champions League side. Um, or I guess I did do it with Manchester City. We absolutely battered them. <laughs> Set pieces. Oh, jeez. Like I said, I don't expect this. Just destroyed the match engine. The AI has no idea what it is going on. <laughs> oh, almost another. Is there another half chance? <laughs> oh. Okay, um. I just want to rotate the rest of the players. Um, Dean Moore's. I'm going to bring him off. 67% possession. He's had a bloody good game. So is pretty much everyone there. So it's. <laughs> I'm just so happy about this result. Um, Kieran Neal needs a bit of game time. I mean, his sharpness is fine because he plays in the league. But. Oh, like I said. As I realised that I actually started the game with this tactic, it wasn't meant to. I was supposed to start with our usual tactic, the 4 2 3 1. Looks like Murray's injured. No, he just decided to give himself a 30 second break. We've got to go! Oh, yes! <laughs> 6 0! 6 0! <laughs> I think it's speak here. What's, what's your celebration? Is it it's gonna load? I oh, know. He better not be injured. Is that Murray? Oh, yeah, he had a knock, didn't he? Yeah. What actually happened to him? Hang on, can I go further back? Ah. He died. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this today's game. Oh, Tony Murray, he just died. <laughs> what was he doing? He just stand there. Oh, 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 oh that, that was good contact. He just flopped. <laughs> um, he's suffered a bruised head. Oh, come on. Come on, Tony. Bruised head, and you want to come off for that? <sighs> oh, see, if I take him off, he's going to complain. I was in a hat trick. Yeah, well, okay, fine. Stay up there. Get your tape. Oh, um, I'm just going to encourage them. 
Let's see if we can bag a few more goals. Um, look, if this tactic really has broken the match engine, if I was to stir them up, play aggressively, say, demand more, <laughs> uh, I'm just going to tell them to encourage them. Um, it seems convinced. Seems very really confident. I'm pretty sure we're fine. Yeah, it's the 78th minute. Uh, oh no, we're going to run away, Parry. Oh no, no clean sheet. Please, oh. Come on, boys. Come on. Come on. Come on, McCartney. Save this. Chikorito. Oh, he saved it. Yes. Javier Hernandez. Oh, the players are dead. What's happened? Conditioning. Oh. Yes, I know. It's still there. It's still there. Don't worry. Concrete. Don't worry about it, Chris. I can, I can read. Oh, he must have had another knock. That's why it's come up. My mistake. Um, oh, Smitty. Oh. Full time here from Windsor Park. And, well... <laughs> Good performance, especially given the fact, uh, given that we were considered to be underdogs for the team like that. I think he needs something just to spruik him up. It was six nil, Chris. Six nil. It wasn't a good performance. It was a bloody fantastic performance. Magnificent result. We've got some guys that are basically on the hospital ward now, in the hospital ward now, their fitness is just, they just dropped off, at the 70 minute mark, Tony Murray, 9 to 12 days, he's got a bruised head, uh, 1.29 million pounds for that win, and all for us to sign a new contract, um, finances, they're fine, we've, we've made 35 million this year, due to the board selling players. But imagine if we had that side. Oh, imagine if we had a full strength side. Oh, I think I. No, that would have been after. Yeah. Um. Yeah, nothing's happened. I just it was a bit low. That's right. Ah, uh, yes. Um, Gavin McAllister said that reckons that we didn't have the finances to fund his wage demands, but I stretched it out and then he said, nah, uh, we're not good enough, you suck it, Gavin, let's see what Sheffield wins they're up to, in the championship, come on Gavin, you're in the championship, we're possibly going to the first knockout round, He's a magnificent centre defender, uh, central defender. We could give you more than that, mate. We can give you more, just to show you while oh, we're still here. Uh, let's see, Demore. Oh, he probably wouldn't want to sign a new contract. Yeah. Um, let's just get some random guy. Um, the whip. Um, if we could send him a key contract, hundred and ten thousand. We can give you 110,000 a week. Imagine that. To some some small club in Northern Ireland paying someone 110,000. Come on, Ronaldo. <laughs> he's still. He's, he's got one. Oh, I think he signed a one year contract with Real. Is he extension? Yeah. Four hundred thousand a week. Wait till January. So we just a cheeky bit. Also, we can't actually sign him. But to see, come spend a couple of years with us. It's all fun and games down here, especially in the league. Absolutely destroy teams. Um, yeah. So I think that's going to be it. It's been an exciting episode. Just starting to destroy teams, and that's without playing this tactic. I wonder what will happen now. 
I wonder what would happen now if we could beat Leverkusen 6 0. Imagine what we can do to someone like, I don't know, Porter Down or Ards down the bottom of the league. I don't know, they're not. They're actually doing pretty well. Um, well, we'll see. Two games behind some sides. Ooh, yes. Um, European coefficients. Update. Um, so far. Uh, 14.25. So we're going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, 4 to 27th. Um, I think quite legitimately in the next uh, probably in three years we could be up around 10 or 12 we could be um, that would really change things for the league for example if we can get into 15th take the Netherlands spot there not only do we go straight into the third qualifying phase but we get second Champions League spot. Um, that would dramatically increase the reputation of the league, which I think will be absolutely essential in the development of our players. If we can increase the reputation of the league and the club, I mean, clubs exp exp exponentially increasing the reputation. Um, I think the start of the last season. Our rep went up 140 places in terms of the actual club reputation. Uh, this year it was 76 or something. <coughs> um, if we can get into the knockout stages in the Champions League, we should be able to go up another 30, 40 places. Um, we're still like 70th. You know, we'll be able to look at the reputations of the club. Club coefficients, I think, is what we're actually looking for. Yeah. Um, you can see where, where uh, I just missed us, didn't I? Oh no, here, 68th. 37 now, which will take us up another 10 spots, so at the moment. Um, looking at, quickly before we go, uh, the Champions League group, we can beat Monaco at home, uh, away from home, I think. We can beat Napoli at home as well, so... I reckon we could win two of the next games. If we smash Leverkusen like that, I reckon we can get through. Um, as soon as we got that draw, I thought, ugh, that's it. We're not going any further. But after the performances we've seen in the Champions League, I think I've underestimated how good the squad is. Yes, we don't have the star players that we did. We lost four players in the first 11 to the board. If we still had those players, if we were playing the right tactic, we could probably go through to the second knockout round. I reckon we could really push some teams. Um, it's just, it's hard to really um, get an actual understanding of how good players are because of how low our reputation is and how low the league's reputation is. Um, it's, it's hard to understand where about uh, we've just got to keep pushing 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 we've already passed our expectation for the season so now it's just trying to get as far into Europe as possible um, I still think we're five ten years off challenging for the Champions League title um, and I'm expecting the board to sell more players in the next few years it's just expected um, I know it was a little bit tough on the board, but it's more down to the fact that our reputation is low. Um, the board isn't expecting us to retain these types of players. And yes, our finances are getting to the point where we can start funding big transfers and paying players enough to almost not to um, demand them to stay, but just to encourage them to stick around financially they're going to be happy but it's just about reputation now it's about the reputation increasing the reputation and over time we should see a 
almost an increase in the amount of its reputation increasing. Um, um, yeah, financially we should be able to really start pushing for players to come back to Northern Ireland if we have a look at the Northern Ireland Irish squad. Um, I'm just really scouting. We're just trying to see which of these players we can encourage to come back. Um, look, Connor Washington isn't good enough. He's got some good stats there, but they're not great, and he's not going to be. I'm not. I don't want to bring him back. Um, I don't even think he's ever been in an Irish club. No, he's been in England the whole time. Um, where is because Fenny must last night playing a Boston save, so I can't actually remember the dude's name. Um, why is he not playing with any of the Northern Irish squad? I'm Wilson or something. There wasn't Callum Wilson, obviously, but unless I'm just getting confused with. I think I was just getting confused with the save. There was a Wilson. <coughs> oh, well, um, we'll end the episode here. Um, I've enjoyed this episode. It was a fantastic result. Unbelievable result. Unexpected. And, well, until the uh, Napoli game on the 9th of December, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope that you will like it. Um, if you're new, subscribe, because things are really starting to get exciting. And until next time, I've been James. You've been great. Thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.